Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my math lesson is on finding the tax, tip, discount, and markup. Our objective today is that you're going to find tax, tip, discounts, and markup in order to find the final cost of items. This is a really important life skill to have, and you won't always have your mom and dad around to help you. The question I want you thinking about as we proceed through the lesson today is how can you use what you already know about finding percent of increase and percent of decrease to calculate these real world examples of tax, tip, discounts, and markups. So if your teacher hasn't already instructed you on percent of increase or decrease, you might want to pause and watch my previous video so that you understand those terms first. So here's the vocabulary I'm going to be using in today's lesson. Sales tax, which is a kind of tax, is a real world example of percent of increase. It's something that is added to the original price of an item that is charged by the state you live in. Then we have tip which is a percent of increase added to the original price of an item to show appreciation for service. So you likely will tip when you go to a restaurant and you have a waiter or a waitress, when you get your hair cut, if you valet your car. There's many times in life where we provide a tip, which we calculate as a percent. Then we have discount. We love discounts. When you go to the store and something's on sale, that's a discount. It's a percent of decrease, and we subtract it from the original price of the item. And then we have markup. Markup is a real-world example of percent of increase, and we add this to the cost a store owner has paid for an item. So if you're a t-shirt store owner and you pay $10 for the t-shirts, you're not going to sell them to your customers for $10, because if you did that, you wouldn't make any money. So you're going to have a percent of markup. So I'm going to show you these four examples, real world examples, and I hope you'll pause and try to solve them on your own and then come back and see my worked out example. All right, here we go. So we're going to be calculating tax. We're purchasing the skateboard and it costs $43. The sales tax that we're going to be charged when we go to check out is 6%. What is your total cost to purchase a skateboard? So what, how much money are you going to give the store to walk out of the store having bought the skateboard? Please pause and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I'm going to show you two methods. One's not better than the other. One's going to not more correct. They're going to get you the same spot. It's just how your brain works through the problem. You get to pick which one you want. Method one, I'm going to find 6% of $43 and then I'm going to add it to the $43. So 6% written as a decimal multiplied by 43 equals two dollars and 58 cents so now i have to pay the store the 43 dollars for the skateboard plus the two dollars and 58 cents for sales tax for a total of 45 dollars and 58 cents now method two i'm going to find 106 percent of 43 dollars now you're probably thinking where did i get 106 percent well i'm going to pay 100 percent of the cost of the item plus 6%. That's 106%. So if I can think about it this way, I don't have to do this final step because it's all here. So 106% written as a decimal multiplied by 43 is equal to $45.58. You can see we got the same answer. All right, let's talk about calculating tip. We're going out to eat and the bill at the restaurant is $86 you want to leave your waiter a 15% tip for their service. I would like you to calculate the amount of the tip. Go ahead and pause. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I only have one method for you on this one. We're not finding the total cost of our bill. We're just calculating our tip. So we're going to find 15% of our $86 bill. 15% written as a decimal multiplied by the 86 is $12.90. So the tax that we're going to leave for the waiter for our night out is $12.90. Now we're going to go on to discounts. We've been saving for the new iPhone and this weekend the sale is here. If the iPhone you want costs $699, what will it cost you if it's discounted 35%? 
So the, st the store is having a sale. They're discounting at 35%. That means they're taking 35% off the original price of the phone. I would like you to find what the sales price of the phone is. Go ahead and pause and come back and hit play. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I'm going to show you two methods again. So method one, I'm going to find 35% of $699, and then I'm going to subtract it from $699 because that's what they're taking off the cost. So 35% written as a decimal multiplied by 699 is $244.65. Now I need to take this away because I'm not going to pay this much money. So I subtract it from the 699 and I get $454.35, and this is what the store is gonna charge me. All right, let's do another method. Method two, I'm gonna find 65% of 699. You're probably thinking, what, where'd you get that number? Well, 100% of the phone, and then take away 35%. 100 subtract 35 means I'm gonna pay 65%. The store is going to take away the 35, but I still have to pay the 65%. So doing this cuts out this step. So 65% written as a decimal multiplied by the cost of the phone is $454.35. Now we're going to deal a markup. We own a sneaker shop. We sell sneakers and our markup is 45%. So if you buy the pair of sneakers for $43, what is the price that you will mark them to sell to customers? Go ahead and pause, come back and hit play. Welcome back, let's see how you did. So again, I'm gonna show you two methods. Method one, I'm gonna find 45% of $43 and I'm gonna add it. So 45% written as a decimal multiplied by 43, is $19.35. $43 plus $19.35 means my customers are going to pay $62.35 for these sneakers that I purchased for $43. So my profit is $19.35 every time I sell a pair of sneakers. Method two, I'm going to multiply and find 145% because I'm gonna charge the customer 100% of what the sneakers cost me, plus the 45% markup. So 145% written as a decimal multiplied by 43 is $62.35. That's our lesson today on finding tax tip, discount, and markup. I hope that it was informative for you and you understand more real world examples of percent of increase and decrease. Please subscribe to my channel and sign up for subscriptions so you can see when I get you, you'll get notified when I put more videos out there. And a thumbs up is always great. Have a nice day.